This simple trick turned my really bad hunter build into triple 100s and it only took 5 minutes. Here's how. A lot of people grind for artifice armor thinking it's the best armor in the game. And it technically is, but it's extremely rare to actually get good rolls on artifice armor, it takes a long time to farm for it, and you really don't need it. So instead of doing that, you should do this. First thing to do is unlock the following upgrades in the helm. Defiant Sojourner from the War Table, Deep Attraction for the Sonar Station, which you can find under Seasonal Challenges, and I believe you don't need an upgrade for the Ritual Table, it's just built in. And whatever the equivalent upgrade is in the current season if you're watching this in the future. These upgrades will allow you to get tons of seasonal engrams from any activity in the game. Simply by playing the game and completing activities, you'll stock up on these fast. Each activity has a chance to drop up to two of each engram, meaning any activity, and you'll usually get one or two, or if you're lucky, up to five or six, which is crazy to think about. A passive way to get really good loot. Because of this, I managed to get over 100 engrams in less than a week. But hold on to these for now because you'll also need Defiant Armor Focusing from the War Table and Deep Armor Focusing for the Sonar Station. These upgrades will make it so engrams you focus will have high stat armor, meaning anywhere from 60 total stats to 68 total stats, before any masterworks or mods. Do not decrypt your engrams until you have these upgrades or else it's just a waste. Next thing to do is decide which three stats are the most important to your build. For me, I always go with max resilience and max recovery for pure survivability, and in this build I decided on discipline. You probably think this is a weird build for Hunter, but the reason is, I'm using a combination blow build where my melee refills my dodge and my dodge refills my melee, so mobility and strength are literally useless, so I might as well put it into something else. Anyway, decide the three stats that you want, then equip your ghost mod with the most important of those three. Now you want to put all of your armor into your vault or onto a different character. By the way, you'll need a lot of vault space to get the most out of this. Now you just need to focus all of your engrams into random armor from each of the vendors. The reason we're doing random armor is because they're cheaper and we need a lot to guarantee triple 100s. Whenever your inventory gets full, go over to the vault and dump all of it in. I told you, we need a lot of vault space. Once you decrypt about half of your engrams, go ahead and swap the ghost mod to one of the other stats. Then continue decrypting and make sure you hold on to all the armor you get because the next step is finding the perfect combination for your build. Head over to d2armorpicker.com and log into your account. This will calculate every possible combination of gear in your vault to help you get the exact build you're looking for. Select your character, then scroll down to the advanced settings. Make sure you enable the first three options under the masterwork section to account for your masterwork stats. Now, go back into the game and figure out which exotic armor you're going to use and which fragments you're going to use. For me, I went with Liar's Handshake and I have these four fragments, but the only ones we need to take note of are the ones with stats tied to them. Now head back to the website, scroll up a little bit to where it says Stat Boost Selection, and mark down the fragments you're using. Scroll up again to the exotic section and click on the exotic you chose. Now all the way at the top, you can choose which stats you're looking for. Since you should have so much armor in your vault, you're bound to have many combinations of gear with triple 100s. And since we're using the ghost mods, they will favor the stats you chose. So I want resilience, recovery, and discipline, so I'll click on 100s for each of those. And if any combinations exist, they'll show up on the right side of the screen. Now you just decide which of these combinations you want, click copy dim query, then head over to a different website called destinyitemmanager.com and paste this into the search bar at the top. This will highlight the exact armor pieces you need to create a build with those exact stats. Now put all that gear on, masterwork everything if it's not already, then put on any additional stat mods that you need and save your build. Now you have a really strong build that should have only taken about five minutes to put together. Now obviously triple 100s aren't guaranteed every time, but you are likely to get some really good combinations of gear and the more armor you have in your vault, the more likely you are to find triple 100s. Then what I would do is make a few more builds using the random armor in your vault, and once you have everything set up, you can either keep all the random armor, or delete it all for vault space because you already have some OP builds. Now that you know this trick, you'll definitely want to check out this video for the best builds for each subclass. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see-